The cameras on our smartphones have gotten really good over the last few years, and that includes shooting video. But which phone is the best for video right now? So we've been testing out some of the best ones released this year. The iPhone 10, the Google Pixel 2 XL, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, the HTC U11, and the LG V30. And here's how we think they compare to each other when it comes to capturing footage of our everyday lives. Now, when it comes to straight up image quality, the Pixel 2 XL, the iPhone 10, and the Note 8 are a definite step above the others. These phones capture crisper footage with more information in the brightest and darkest parts of a scene, which means they're going to be able to handle challenging lighting situations better and more consistently than the others. The Note 8 captures what is probably the best footage to edit. It's very flat, meaning there's not much contrast and there's a lot of detail. The iPhone X is right behind it. The footage isn't as flat, which means it looks a little better right out of the camera, even if that means it's a little worse for editing. The Pixel 2 XL's footage is pretty much just as good, but has a tendency to look a little oversaturated at times, which I really didn't like. Of course, good video isn't just all about image quality. There are tons of other factors to consider. One thing the Note 8 does best is it has the highest resolution front-facing camera of all of these phones. It can shoot Quad HD or 2K footage in selfie mode, which looks really impressive and is great if you want to vlog on the go. The Pixel 2 XL has the best stabilization of all three of these phones, which means its footage looks super smooth. But the Pixel's sound recording is noticeably worse than the iPhone 10 or the Note 8. All right, this is the Google Pixel 2 XL. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. All right, this is the iPhone 10's selfie camera. The Pixel also doesn't have dual cameras, which means it's not quite as versatile. The iPhone 10 and the Note 8 each have a second telephoto rear camera, and that means you can capture a greater variety of footage with those phones. The LG V30 also has a second rear camera, but it's a super wide one, and it looks like a GoPro a little bit, which is kind of cool, but I think it looks better in photos than it does with the video on this phone. We could do this back and forth all day. The Note 8 has faster autofocus than the iPhone 10, but the iPhone lets you shoot super slow motion at 240 frames a second with the telephoto lens, and the Note 8 doesn't do that. Meanwhile, the Pixel 2 XL will only let you shoot 240 frames a second at a lower resolution than those other two phones. The point here is the Note 8 and the iPhone 10 are the best out of these five phones when it comes to shooting video. If I have to pick a winner, it'd probably be the Note 8 just because of that slight edge in image quality on both sets of cameras, front and back. But either of those two or the Pixel 2 XL will still serve you really well when it comes to shooting video on your smartphone. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see a full in-depth comparison between the iPhone 10, the Google Pixel 2 XL, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, the HTC U11, and the LG V30, we did a video with James Barham. You can watch that right here. And make sure to subscribe to The Verge.